Hello friends, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 and today we'll review the 4K exclusive Best Buy Steelbook of Cars. If you're new to the channel, please hit the like button, subscribe, hit that bell notification, open up videos every single day. You can also find me over Twitter and Instagram at MovieGuy365, as well as over at the Disney Magic Hour podcast. We'll go ahead and leave a link for that in the description. All right, Cars is here in 4K, as you can see, the Best Buy Exclusive Steelbook Edition. I've always enjoyed this movie. It's really not to be, it's, I would say it's, it's, it does qualify as kind of like more of a kid's movie. I know Pixar's motto is that they make films for everybody, and they do to a degree. But this was done purely for kids, and while there are some elements for from other movies, you know, essentially this is a a, a Doc Hollywood kind of remake in Cars form. You know, this is this is a movie that was made for toys, that sort of thing. And there's not not a whole lot deeper to it. It does have a good story, and it will entertain adults. But as far as you know, putting it up against the other Pixar films, especially Cars Two, which I'll talk about in the next video. It, it's, it just doesn't measure up, I think, to the overall quality of what they do. Now, don't get me wrong, the animation and all that's breathtaking, which I'll touch on in the video portion. But overall, as, as a movie goes, it kind of leaves, you know, a little bit to be, you know, uh, fulfilled as adults. So, but it is still fun, and I do enjoy it quite a bit. All right, let's take a quick look at the still book, and then we will go ahead and talk about the picture quality and the audio. As you can see here, we have the Cars Steelbook, the original movie, and the color scheme and style match the other Pixar releases that were released this week. And there's the spine, interior, really nice. I kind of actually like this one a lot. It just shows off everybody. It's very colorful. It's a very overall decent cover. So, yeah, I dig it. I really do. I think it matches pretty well. We just need pretty much a Cars 3 Steelbook to match. They only released that one and. um Slip cover, I believe. So, all right, let's move on to the picture quality and the audio. Cars has a really nice HDR grading overall as far as 4K goes. Now, I always enjoy the Blu-ray image. I, I thought it always looked clean, looked bright and colorful. And I go back to the earliest scenes with uh, Lightning McQueen and they show him getting ready to race at the stadium. The stadium's at night and then you have fireworks popping. I always thought that looked breathtaking on Blu-ray. And it definitely gets amped up here in the 4K. The HGR makes that scene just reference quality. If you want to show somebody what animation could do with that little bump in HDR, you take an already great scene like that one on the Blu-ray and you just show it on 4K. And when you have HDR, that thing just pops. It really does. Now, also, as far as the rest of the movie goes, there's a nice bump in uh, detail as far as you know things like the rocks and that kind of thing, or uh, landscape. The cars themselves look just a little bit shinier. There's a little bit more. You see a little bit more wear and tear. Like you know, it's nothing like Cars Three, where that's pretty much photorealistic kind of technology. You know, putting that on screen. But this one is definitely a really nice looking HDR image overall. A Lightning McQueen himself shines really nicely with that paint job. All the other uh, cars also benefit from the same thing. Uh, black levels are nice and deep going back to that initial scene at, at, during night and of course when they're going through the desert with uh, with the truck and it's really a deep black level and then when those cars come up with the neon that's, that's also a good scene to show everybody what HDR pop can really do as far as color goes. There's a, as I said a lot of good color bump here the detail is nice and black levels are nice and deep. Audio wise, we do have, of course, the Disney Atmos, which are typically mixed a little bit on the low side. So go ahead and bump that up in your volume. But overall, it's a very nice, just robust track overall. Like there's a good amount of LFE kick in, of course, this being a Cars movie, engines revving, that sort of thing, or just a little bit of racing. That, that really kicks into gear, especially during the stadium scenes. You also get a lot of ambient sound. You hear, you know, crowd cheering behind you, that sort of thing. Uh, Kate, your car's whizzing over your head. That's really nice to hear in a home theater setting. It, as I mentioned, since this is Disney Atmos, it does run a little bit on the low side. So, you know, but I don't feel it's overly concerning in this case because you just crank it up. And I think overall it's the better track when you go back to the Blu-ray. 
uh, as far as the Blu-ray 7.1 goes. It's it's really good at, overall. I feel it's a it's an overly immersive track. Sounds great. I think it's worth it alone for just the audio. I never thought I'd say that for a Disney title, but this being a Cars movie, you expect a little bit of something. And it doesn't fall flat, which I think for this kind of movie is uh, what a lot of people would be concerned about, but I don't feel it's like this at all. So yes, I highly recommend you pick up Cars in 4K. You take an already beautiful looking Blu-ray image and you bump that up five points. It looks fantastic. Look at those scenes I mentioned earlier and you will really see what HDR can do as far as, you know, just taking that color and amping it up to the next level. So let me know in the comments below if you picked up Cars in 4K and what did you think. In the meantime, please like, subscribe, hit that bell notification and put out videos every single day. So until next time, this is Adam with Movie Guy 365 I will see you at the movies. Thank <laughs> you.